Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the clarinet. Okay, this is on book two, lesson two. Book two, lesson two. I hope you've warmed up a little with your scales, got yourself warmed up, um, got your book out. And even before we do lesson two, I'd like to go to page six and do the second song on page six, the one called Flexibility, because this is a nice warm up. So everybody go to book two, page six, the second sound song down called Flexibility. Uh, I encourage you to try to do the slurs, but if you've never tried this before, feel free to tongue it the first time, but um, eventually get where you can do the slurs. Notice that there's no key signature. So realize that there are some high B's in it. The last note of the first line and the first note of the second line is going to be high B, which is all fingers in the green left pinky. Um, so check that out. If you want to circle it or write yourself a, a reminder in your book, it's totally okay to write in your book. Okay, so song number two, flexibility on page six. Everybody warm up the first three notes. Warm up the first slur. <laughs> Warm that up, everybody. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Now look at lesson two. The new rhythm on lesson two is two sixteenth followed by an eighth, two sixteenth followed by an eighth, and my nickname for it is Hopper Grass. If you remember from lesson one, lesson one used grass hopper, grass hopper, and this one is the opposite, hopper grass. The two, um, the first two notes are the fast ones. Um, so make sure that the hopper has to go twice as fast as the speed of TT. So if you want TT to be T, 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 Hopper would have to go Hopper, 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 Hopper. Hopper has to be twice as fast as the speed of TT. And of course, TT has to be twice as fast as Ta, Ta, Ta. Okay, so lesson two. Let's take a look at song one. Song one is just a bunch of C's. I don't want to play song one. Of course, you can play it at your house. But I would like to speak song one. So what I mean on song one is to say the rhythms with the nicknames. So the song one would be T, T, Ta, Hopper, Grass, Ta, that kind of idea. So try it with me. Song number one, say the T, T's and the Ta's and the Hopper, Grasses. Ready, go. T, T, Ta, Hopper, Grass, Ta. T, T, Ta, Hopper, Grass, Ta. Hopper, Grass, Hopper, Grass, Hopper, Grass, Hopper, Grass, T, T, Ta. Hopper, Grass, Ta. Okay, so song number two, everybody. Hopper grass T T Hopper grass T T. That'll be the speed of number two. Notice it has a B flat key signature, so high B flat is going to be used in this song. Um, measure five, the first uh, notes of measure five are high B flats. Feel free to write yourself a memo if you want to draw the flat sign by it or whatever. But please notice the key signature of number two. Everybody, warm up some F. It starts on F. <laughs> Song number two, Hopper Grass T T. Song number two, ready, go. <laughs> Now song number three. Again the B flat key signature. But this one has some high C's in it. The first note, we're on song three. The second measure of song three is a high C. So remember high C, you have to have your pinky on the red with your thumb on the register key. So feel free on song number three if you want to write yourself a memo. Um, it's better than playing a wrong note. So like on mine, see that I put a C and I wrote the word red. Feel free, and then over here on the on the B's, I wrote a flat sign to remind myself to play B flat. It's totally okay with me if you write some reminders to yourself. It's better than playing a wrong note. Okay, so song number three once again starts on F's. 
and this one is a little more challenging it has some leaps so you've got to get where you're nimble at getting up to that high C you got to be able to have quick fingers um, if this song is difficult for you feel free to lay your clarinet on your shoulder and just move your fingers and see if you can keep up with me and of course try it without um, looking at the video because I go kind of fast but once you get it under control under control try to play it along with me so everybody warm up a F song three hopper grass T T hopper grass is going to be the speed song three Ready, go. Kind of a challenging finger twister. Okay, song number four is, again, just a bunch of C's, red pinky. So I'm not going to bother playing song four, but let's chant it. Chant it, meaning say the rhythms. So I'm going to write the word chant. Okay, so what on this one, as you scan through it, do you see that there's both grasshoppers and hopper grasses? Make sure you can tell which one is which. On song number four, there are, some of them are grasshopper and some of them are hopper grass starts with grasshoppers. So I'm going to be saying the nicknames. Try it along with me if you want. Grasshopper, that's going to be the speed. Song for everybody. Ready, speak. Grasshopper, grasshopper, hopper, grass, ta. Hopper, grass, grasshopper, ti, ti, ta. Grasshopper, hopper, grass, grasshopper, hopper, grass, grasshopper, ti, ti, ta. Yeah. So feel free to play song four if you want, but today I just I just chanted it. Okay, song number five. Again, um, they're going to blend. Sometimes it's grasshopper, sometimes it's hopper grass. you got to be able to tell which one is which. Song five has the F sharp key signature. Song five has the F sharp key signature. Feel free to grab your pencil and write yourself some memos. So that means the B's are going to be high B where you have to use both of your pinkies, the left pinky on the green key, so feel free to, if you want to, write the word green. And then the F's have to be played in the F sharp position. Um, so it ends up being kind of a tricky song, tricky on the fingers. So I want to remind you about the high B. Remember high B is all fingers and your left pinky is on the green with your thumb on the register key. Everybody warm up a high B. <laughs> So that note is used along a lot in song five. And then it's F sharp. F sharp is first finger, no thumb. Everybody warm up a F sharp. Okay, song number five. It starts off with some G's and then it goes to a B. So everybody warm up a G and then warm up a B. Kind of challenging. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Song number five, everybody. Ready, go. little song. Okay, keep going. Go on to the next page. Still on lesson two, but uh, song six is called Sad Little Song. Okay. Look through. Of course, remember once in a while, breathe in, clear off your spit. There's some slurs. I'm looking through to see if there's any high register notes. No, the highest note is an A. There is a low A toward the ending. The second to last note is low A, and there's a fermata on the ending, so watch me for the signal. Um, Legato at the beginning, it says legato, which means to play in a smooth style. And again, try to do the slurs. Um, okay, there is a B flat key signature, but there's no B's in this song. It's because it's in D minor. Um, and one of the music rules is if a song is in D minor, it has to have the B flat key signature. So there are some music rules like that. Okay, song six. Everybody find a D? Ta -ti -ta -ta. Try to do the slurs. If you think you can handle it, please try to do the slurs. Song six. Ready, get set, go. 
song seven is the night returns okay so look through this song notice that it's written in a duet style and what I do on my music is I write a b a b a b a b so you got to choose are you going to be doing the a staffs or are you going to be doing this the b staffs in this duet as you look through it you'll notice that every um, rhythm matches the a staff matches the b staff and it's the same letter a is playing the high note, B is playing the low note. Everybody starts with F's. Um, you'll see that all the letters match. It's called an octave. The whole thing is written in octaves um, where the top letter um, matches the letter on the bottom. The fingers will be totally different. The tone will be different, but all the letters are the same. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, you have your choice. You can play along with me. Or you can play the opposite staff if you want to play the opposite staff. I'm going to play the A staff, and then later I'll play the B staff. Look it through. There's some slurs. The dots over the note are called staccato. It means to play it short. Don't worry about that. I am not very picky about that in elementary school. Do not feel like you have to follow that, those staccato dots. Look, check it, measure 8. Notice there's some slurs on measure 8. Notice there's a B flat key signature, B flat key signature. And again, if you want to draw reminders to yourself, go ahead. It's totally okay with me. Okay, so night returns. I'm going to play the A staff. The first note is F. Everybody warm up the first note. Hopper grass, hopper grass. Okay, I'm playing the A staff. You can play the A staff or you can play the B staff. Ready, go. So again, you can play along with me or you can play the opposite part. Okay, ready to warm up the first note? One, two, ready, go. Lesson two.